and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another ARAM Lab All Random All Mid is what that stands for. This is uh, like this is just a lot of fun. This kind of gameplay where you just get your random champions and everything. No, um, no pressure, you know, or anything here. Just a, just a good time. Uh, we're gonna start this off for our meme tier Monday because. Uh, these can get some pretty crazy games and everything, so for those of y'all that love seeing these labs. This is also just a play mode that I recommend people playing. I mean, it's just, you know, nice and chill. The music here that we're about to play is great. We're going to just play five games of the lab, show you how it works. Um, basically, you get to choose your five, your four champions. Um... Yeah, we're gonna get release in. I think, unfor like, Teemo's really cool, but Teemo is, is honestly not that good in this lab. You start with three mana each. You just wanna be doing more powerful things than Teemo. <laughs> Heimer's into lo fi. Zed is like, Zed's maybe the best champion to get. I just have turn one Zed on an empty board. Opponent has to be able to answer it immediately. You think I should have kicked off with Lucian? I liked being able to, I don't know, I liked how Elise was going to get me a Spida. I liked that Spida. What's up, Biz with the bits? Thank you, Biz. Um, let's have both players draw. No, let's just get this Dauntless Vanguard. Or I guess. I guess maybe we should save Dauntless Vanguard for Heimerdinger. But I won't be able to. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just don't don't play anything here. Next turn, drop Heimerdinger, play Dauntless Van Vanguard. Why do we have Sap Magic? That's oh, a Shadow Isles card, so that comes along with Elise. This definitely makes wanting to play Elise. You know, definitely makes playing Elise less valuable. Um, so yeah, you have 40 cards and whatever your four champions are, they kind of, uh, determine your other cards. Yeah, it's true. Golden Crush Bot would crush your turn one Z dreams. Progress waits for no one. So Secession is slow, they can kill my Heimerdinger in response. It goes Sat Magic, which is Burst. They don't get to deal with Heimerdinger in response. The balance requires a watch. Alright, I don't think they're killing Heimerdinger. Um, Ethereal Remitter is pretty cool with like Heimerdinger turrets. Right? Like that's that's pretty awesome. That's a cool thing about this format is you just get to learn, um, you just get to find out like some really cool interactions that you would never see otherwise. Like, should we build an Ethereal Remitter Heimerdinger deck? Turn turrets into other stuff? What's up, Nakano? Aquilabot, what's up? Hey, everybody. Okay, Kavo, you're trying to make a Shen Teemo deck? Nice. I like it. We need more spells for our Heimerdinger and our Lux. Madness. Another Heimerdinger? 
That's madness. Um, I either go Remitter on this Dauntless Vanguard or I play Lux. No, I guess I prefer TV shows. Um, no, I've never been into anime at all. That's just nothing I've really ever gotten into. Man, that's a large Shen right there. Do some attacking. Thank you. I need some things to die. Never know what hit him. Pretty sure we'll know. Shine with me. Well, I need some things to die. Get this Lucian to level up. I guess I could have blocked with the 3 3, and then we would have definitely had a level up Lucian. What? Huh. I mean, do I want to use that like on Lux? Maybe on Lucian? Even bigger Lucian? Dimensions don't determine themselves. I don't know, this looks cool. <laughs> so now Lucian gets plus three, plus two. We also create a 6-1 Overwhelm and we create a Final Spark. <laughs> So we got remo you know, so we finally found some removal for their Heimerdinger. And will this level up no, this is no, we've only played the one turret so far. So if Lucian levels up, it's gonna be a seven five double attack. That sounds pretty sweet. That's why I went with Illusion. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Oh, Funsmith could be scary. Everything dealing an extra point of damage. That could be scary. No, don't recall. No more holding back. Alright, you challenge. No, challenge you. And then you go in there. And then you attack. And you can attack. So I'm certainly assuming that, like, so this wind up shredder is gonna die, so that'll be number three for Lucian. And so I'm, I'm assuming that. Either the 6-1 or the 3-3 three, three is going to die. And in which case that will be level up Lucian. There is no dispute. Progress waits for no one. It's going down to one. It's not much life to have. Just one. So I get to play Tiana Crown Guard, I get to rally. And then. 
And then I kind of assume the six, you know, the six one dies, and so then we get to attack again. So this should be game. Should be over. GG's. I was going to attack with Heimer Dinger also, because again, if Heimer Dinger dies, we get another attack step. So like maybe they just don't block the six one and they just jump block everything else. But if Heimer Dinger dies, we get another attack. Oh, got a thousand XP for that. Play games in the lab. I honestly didn't even know that was my quest. <laughs> I don't like really even look at my daily quests ever because I always just get them anyway because, you know, playing this much. So I'd, I don't really check them. Maybe I have a daily quest that's like play Jinx and Zed together. And it's been there for weeks and I don't even know. It's possible. Um, I don't want two five mana. I don't really want a five and a six. Do I want both of these? I mean, I want to look for like threes and fours. I like Swing though. Kind of like both. I kind of like both of these champions. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them. That's fine. Reckless Trifarian. Uh, I was thinking that like there's a lot of powerful Noxus cars that Swain could be bringing along. Reckless Trifarian. Uh, not so sure about that one. Everybody seems to keep Teemo, and I don't think it ever works out for them. I think this format is this. Formats too powerful for Teemo. Well, they're certainly attacking. So Swain is fearsome. So they can't block Swain with either of these. So I was going to take whatever they could block with Thresh. Or like, like whatever they could, you know, if they played something that could block Swain, we take it with Braum. That's a good card. That's a good card. It's true, like, that that move, if they had removal, then they could kill Braum. Eh. I mean, they would also did so much damage to them. So much damage. Alright, keeps them from getting the 3-3. Three, three. Has died. You dare oppose Noxus. That'd be two, three, four, five, six units dying. All right, we'll have five units die. So that's just my one quest. Play champions from Noxus or Freljord. That's an easy one. I probably got that lab one yesterday. That's probably yesterday's. 
That's my guess. Annihilation Nation. Um. Yeah, Gameplay's probably just the weakest. Probably do better than Vladimir. Ash, like, trades down all the time. I'm gonna look at all of those. Yeah. I am not too confident in uh, this game, to be honest. Not too confident in this game at all. Um, could potentially use Katarina to help out um, Quinn. Help level up Quinn. Maybe that's a thing we can do. Oh, for each ally that died this game. Right, not that you played. Each one that died. Let us get going. Let's boogie. First we fight. I think I'm gonna lose this lab. I've never lost a lab before. <laughs> this would have this is my tenth lab to play. We were gonna be ten and out, but no, it looks like we're gonna lose the lab for the first time. Nothing gets between me and my mark. I should have kept that ash. We, we are going to lose one. So they could have any kind of pump spell to keep their Brahm alive. Um, they have two spinning axes. Any so any kind of other pump spell would keep it alive. Now we're cooking. I don't want to use the harsh winds now, but maybe I will. Stalling, huh? Hey, Nightward with the donation deck. Thank you, Nightward. What kind of donation deck is that? Ten damage? That would level up Draven. Guess I need to do that. Karina control? Okay, cool. Alright, does tomorrow sound good? Oh, wow. That was a great Death Lotus. That was a great Death Lotus. Okay. Karina control to counter... Uh, Karma Ez. Okay. Cool. Shadow. 
Thanks, Nightward. So the reason why I didn't want to play Harsh Winds there, and maybe I just shouldn't, is because I wanted to go on this turn to be able to like attack with like Quinn and like the Scout, and they they block with like Garen, and then I. Um, I harsh winds the Garen, keep like the Quinn alive, and then I cat and then I get oh then I guess I'll just get another attack anyway, and then I'd use like my two one to challenge and kill the Garen. I don't know, this is my plan my whole plan for killing Garen. Um Obviously now we just can't kill Garen. There's not much removal in this format, and so Looks like we're gonna be pretty dead. We do what is right. Garen hasn't struck yet. This will be the, just the first one. Axis coming right up. We've had Quinn for two turns and attacked zero times. champions I've ever had. Not a very good chance this works, but I'm just trying to whittle down the Garen as much as I can. I don't know, this isn't this isn't a very good plan. That's the only plan I got. I'm taking that thing out. Oh come on.
And yeah, we'll be able to attack one more time with Katarina. With this thing being, you know, when it had eight health. When it had eight health, we had a lot better chance. But now at 22 health, this is just kind of silly. It's not even worth Katarina, is it? Maybe not. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Ooh, I love that. Crawling sensation. That just blocks. Uh, never mind. It's not gonna block Garen. They're gonna have Garen go back. He has overwhelm too. They should have one more Poro. Also. Ranger's Resolve, do we still go to zero? No. Cool. Yeah, we saved the two life. Okay, good. So we go to two. And then... Let's see what you've got. Um... And we're gonna do nine damage to them. damage across. I have to worry about this overwhelm coming back and attacking me. Side by side, into battle. Can we get one damage across? Doesn't seem like a very good attack, unless they have a pump spell, which they do have a pump spell. Hmm. We have leveled up cat. We don't have this. Katarina does not get me a blade's edge. Well, I came close. Tell y'all, if they didn't have that second redoubled Valor, I think I could have beat the first redoubled Valor. I think I was going to. With, like, the three attacks that turn, with, like, a, you know, suiciding in with the Quinn and, and the other stuff. I mean, I I went with the riskier line, I guess, of going down to, going down to one. Or, like... Putting them down to one. If I I could have atrocity and killed the five five overwhelmed that way with just the atrocity, and that would have been the safer play. All right, what am I doing? All right, we'll keep Lucian. We'll keep Heimerdinger. Uh, Thresh isn't bad either. We'll keep Thresh. No, that's not good. Third five mana one.
That didn't work out with Illusion. So, I mean, that's a three mana spell. That's usually good to have with Heimerdinger. I'm not going to use it, though. They can't cast that Mystic Shot right now. Anyway, it's just a 1 3. 1 3s are really good to challenge with Thresh. I'll just. Just kind of save it. It's good to get Thresh in play also to start uh, seeing these units die. Draw Plucky Poro for turn. That's a neat party trick. Mystifying Magician is pretty cool. Hey, Big Alfredo. Heimerdinger likes to sew. And that's why he's always like, what seems to be the problem? Probably what he's doing right here, sewing. Looks like he's sewing. Where are you at? You're at three out of six. So I can make it four or five. Make it five. Also, because like this is a four mana two two, I don't want them killing like a four mana two two and making that a six mana card. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Come on, play Theo Remitter, do it! Okay, well, I mean, that does level up Thresh. So now we have Lucian and Heimerdinger. Before we just had Lucian to go grab, now we could grab Lucian or Heimerdinger. Because uh, whenever your champions die, they do get shuffled back into your deck. Lucian. I didn't... I have to take this because if it was Heimerdinger, I don't want them to have Misfortune to block Heimerdinger. So we have to take Misfortune. Champions, so this Hextech Transmogulator 
Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ooh, okay, okay. Vi stands for vicious. No, not Vi. Not Vi. Wow, look at how bad our hand is. <laughs> follower, follower. Pursuit of perfection doesn't do anything. Caustic cast, like, are you kidding me? really bad. Um. Okay, so two things. I can... Like right now we have we have lethal. Oh no, because then no, because the Lucian's gonna die. Never mind, we don't have lethal. Lucian dies. So pass. I was thinking about like playing that and then silencing it so it wouldn't die. And then I'd be able to attack with it and have another thing to Vladimir drain. Top was a good draw. Now we have lethal. Damn, barely got there. Barely. Hey, what's up, Nick? How you doing? All right, one more lab, and then we're gonna start playing our meme tier Monday decks, starting with Battleship, a deck built with the three ships in mind. Just hanging out. That's that is perfect. Oh, I was gonna say Sunday, but it's not a Sunday anymore. I was gonna say it's Sunday afternoon, but it's Monday now. Um, I kind of like all these cards. I like them all. Let's keep them. So Nautilus is kind of weird, right? Because you, you're thinking, wait, why would you keep Nautilus? Nautilus doesn't do anything. And while that's true, Nautilus doesn't asked. do anything. I am the blade in the darkness. Nautilus brings along, like, Nautilus is going to bring along, like, cool sea monsters and stuff. Sea monsters will do stuff. So. At least that's what that's what my thinking was. But now we're gonna have what well, we have jailbreak and parlay. Okay, these are not the best. Okay, well, I had good intentions with Nautilus. It's not paying off. I thought I was gonna bring like cool game breaking sea monsters. I think not. No, I think so. <laughs> Daring for a Wish I would have kept more, more mana. Here comes the punchline. No, why? Why are you so good? Uh. Uh, 
All right, so I think I have to play Garen because Garen will make the yeah. Like Garen will get Frostbitten from the Ash, so it'll, it'll have the Zed be a four three still. So whenever they kill Zed, uh, at least we're doing three damage to Vi. Um, where like if I play Heimerdinger, they kill Zed for nothing, and that's still bad for me. Can't do anything with the Mystic Shot still, so don't need to waste my daring Poro Blanc yet. What seems to be the problem? Gosh, this is just not gonna work out for me, is it? This is just not going to work out for me like I wanted to. Yeah, if I just didn't if I just didn't use that like that mana on the Intrepid Mariner, obviously I didn't I didn't know I was gonna draw a true shot barrage, but if I just didn't cast this Intrepid Mariner and just save that two mana. Life would have been a lot better. I'm hoping they play something pre-combat. I don't really know exactly why they would, but I'm sure hoping they do. I'm sure hoping they do and I get to play True Shot Barrage. And I can go three, two, one. I dealt the one damage to the Ash, set that up. Darn. The other thing about doing the one damage to the Ash is it does make it more difficult to attack with Ash. Then just kill it. Oh, right. Never mind. Mm, that's slow. Can still win this. I think Ezreal is the least important out of the three to kill. I think Ash and um, Vi are more important getting rid of. Well, I felt more confident about this before before this. You really didn't do your job, Nautilus. Of your job of have me draw cool. Have me draw cool sea monsters. Not do your job. Ooh, I like that. 
That could be good. We're 15 cards away from being deep. We're almost there. 10 down, 15 to go. Kill this stupid one three. <sighs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Nautilus is so good in expedition that more fair to make him not do very much in this mode. do one damage. I guess it's not considered a spell or a skill. Lame. I should have dealt two damage. I would have made that more fair. Nautilus is about to have three power and be fearsome. He's about to be a big fearsome attacker. That's cool. Um, do I go Yone first or Yone second? So I have four Demacia and Yone. I think I do four Demacia first. Even though I'm not, I'm gonna, you know, Yone's not gonna get the plus three, plus three bonus. But it gives me, gives me more, more information on what to stun. I may play like two things. An unforeseen outcome. Charged up and ready to go. That was an unforeseen outcome. Both of those cards cost more than five mana, we win. Or more than four mana, we win. And they do! What is up? Four and one. All right. There we go. There's the lab. See, just something to have fun with. You don't really, uh, you know, there's no stress. You don't really win any prizes, but you just, you know, get to have uh, yeah, get to have some fun. Play a lot of cards that you wouldn't normally play. Um, you're put in a lot of situations that you wouldn't normally be put in, and you can learn some stuff. You can learn, um, you know, that maybe ethereal remitter would be cool with Heimerding or turrets. You know, that's that's something you could learn. Uh, you know, you can learn a lot of stuff from the labs. Um, so fun game mode to play. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the labs, the gauntlets, all of that kind of stuff. Um, hope you have fun with this one. We're going to go have some more fun with our meme tier Monday decks. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.